All right, guys, welcome back to today's fly. Uh, what we're going to tie today, this is a Holy Grail nymph. Uh, this is a very good uh, general purpose nymph. Uh, it could be tied in a couple different colors. Uh, black, brown, and olive are the most popular. Uh, this fly can be tied in a size 12 through a 16, uh, normally on uh, a curved hook. Uh, what we have today, this is an Umqua U202 in a size 12. Uh, the body of this fly is made up of olive scud dubbing. The legs for this fly are made up of a little piece of Hungarian partridge. If you don't have the Hungarian partridge, any brown feather or gray will do. Uh, the thorax and the wing case made up of three peacock curls. And for the rib of this fly, we're going to use a piece of hollow tinsel and small. And with that, we'll get started. This fly actually kept me from being blanked out on the water today. So I thought we'd put it in a vise and give, give you guys a look at it. Uh, if you've never seen it, give you an opportunity to tie a few of them up. It's a, it's a good general purpose nymph to have in your box. We'll catch that rib in, start working down. The thread we're using today uh, is a UTC Ultra Thread in 70 Denier Dark Gray. Uh, you're going to want to match your uh, your materials when you go to spin this up. Okay, we come in and dub in the body. We're going to start like most of our dubbing noodles. We're going to go from thin to thick. I'll just help give a little beef to this tiny fly. Careful with that small stuff. That small stuff will just kink up on you. Start building our body going up. Change the hook. Stop it short. We're going to counter wrap with our pearl rib. Catch that in. Now instead of clipping this off, you know, end up tying that in and leaving it right on top of the hook shank there. We're going to use that to add a little extra color to our uh, top of our fly here. I've already gone in and cut my little triangle into this. Uh, this will help lock that feather in. Come in and catch it on the side. Now with these legs, you're not going to tie them off to the sides. We're actually going to tie these in a down position uh, for you new guys. It's called a beard, uh, tying them in a beard. Come in with our peacock, catch those in. Now you're only going to take two of the peacock hurl because we're going to use a, a single piece of that is going to be the wing case cover. Hit my my lot there a little bit. I'll take a couple turns. Catch that in. Tie those all. Back to the rear. Come in. Snap those out. If you forgot um, something you can use to keep your materials out of the way like a little spring or something it's always good to have uh, took mine off for my small flies turns out I actually need to put it back on come in catch that with our hackle plier now you can do this a couple different ways I usually wrap these through even though we're going to tie them in and beard I like to take a wrap through and then just force the fibers down so they're good and even. Two turns. Catch that in. And then right here with your fingers, you start manipulating those feathers. Okay. You come in, grab them from the top, pull them down. Now we're going to take that one feather that's left from that peacock, tie it right across the top. 
fold them back over, get rid of it, pull everything to the back and down. Nice secure wrap. And we're going to take that piece of pearl tinsel and come right over the top. Catch that in right over the top. It's one of those flies where it's actually going to be kind of handy if you do have a UV resin. Got a little piece of peacock sticking up there. Don't need that. Because uh, what we're going to do is build a bubble right on the top there. Come down. Whip. This is actually a half inch. Walk that in, come in, clean it out, clean out a little piece right there, and then pull all of this down. Now this is where it's important that you can get a hold of your material, because we don't want it to stand up on us. We'll come in with our this is uh, Loon UV Thick. The thick makes a really good bubble right there on the top. You don't want to go too much at one time, so you just put a little dab in there. That's going to help build your bubble up really good. Come in, put a little more on top of that one. The thicker you make this resin, the longer you have to hit it with that UV light. Now these legs will stay down like this uh, once you glue them or hit them with a little bit of resin. And that little bubble make this fly stand out in the water. And then you've got that silver tinsel or that pearl tinsel going through there. It's going to catch that light and refract it up uh, toward the fish. Give it a nice little glint. Hope you guys enjoy this fly. Uh, give it a try. Uh, see if it works for you under waters. Until next time, like, share, and subscribe. And if you've got any comments uh, or questions, leave them in the boxes below. I always get back to you guys. Uh, come over to uh, Facebook, check us out at uh, Splash Chomp Flies. And until next time, tight lines.